When I look at all around us, I see this wonderful ways in which nature utilizes what we would call self-organization to create structure, patterns, to create organisms. Can we take inspiration from this? Irdai's research enables the production of ultra-fast lasers, which, among other things, are used in precision machining and medical applications. At the Wu University in Bochum, he aims to focus more deeply on the response of matter to laser light. Together with his wife, Serin Irdai, he is working on the future vision of a 3D atomic printer. It's a very general capability in a situation where you'd like to fabricate a material or a structure is a candidate for a large impact. Probably uh, medical fields, creation of prosthetic elements, or creation of complex devices. And this is one way of giving back to the society if our intellectual work results in better lasers, better processes, maybe more efficient manufacturing technologies, or some medical applications that would make me the proudest. His focus is on the nonlinear interaction between matter and high-intensity laser light. This interaction occurs when the laser light alters a material, thereby influencing the next interaction. Ildai's method of ablation cooling is also based on this effect, and it enables particularly fast and precise removal of materials, such as human tissue. In the future, the physicist would like to investigate how the interactions can be utilized to create complex materials. A lot of the times I realize what you're going to end up with eventually is going to be quite different than from what you started out to get. But that's part of the game and sometimes what you learn along on the way is even more important than the end goal.